So welcome to lesson number four, module six of the Big Data and Hadoop Developer course. So in this particular lesson, we will be demonstrating the famous word count program using Big. So before we jump right into the lesson, let's have a quick recap of the previous lesson. So in the previous lesson, we have learned the different execution modes of PIG. We even saw the steps of creating a successful PIG program. So in this particular lesson, we will be having a demonstration to create the word count program in PIG. So here you can see a screenshot of the big script that I have written for the word count analysis. As you can see, it is a text file and there are five lines in this text file and the text file has been saved with the name word count dot big. So this is how you create a big script. You can take any text editor, write your code line by line save it as a file with a dot big extension now this can be executed as a big script now i will explain the operation of each of these lines one by one the first line actually has a load op operator so what happens in the first line is that we are creating a relation and you can see that there is something called lines and then it says equal to load. Now load is a function which will create a relation or a pointer inside big. So in this line we are saying load and as you can see I have I'm referring to the file which I want to analyze and the location of the file is given in HDFS as line carry. So what this first line does is that it will basically load my input file as carry and it will create a relation of that file to the uh, declaration called lines. So that next time when you say lines, big will refer to this particular file. Now in the second line, you can see that I'm creating another relation called words. So this relation is called words and we can see that each line of the input file is converted into words using the tokenize operator. Now the tokenize function create a bag of words. The flatten function convert a bag into a tuple. So in the second line, what exactly is happening is that using the for each operator, I'm referring to the previous relation and I'm tokenizing the line. So by default, every word will be present in the line relation. I am extracting every word and it will come as a bag operator. Now I'm converting that into a tuple using the flatten keyword and then saving it as a relation words. It is a grouping operation that I'm doing here. You can understand this. So similar words are combined together to compute the count of each word. You can see that I'm using the count operator which is built in big. So I'm defining a new relation called word count then I'm saying that for each element in the previous relation which is the grouped output I want to generate the group and the count of words. Now in the last line you can see I'm using the dump operator to output the result. So to test what we have done in this particular slide, as you can see, I have created a file called input underscore file dot txt. Now this file has some sample text such as hello. This is the input file created in local directory, etc, etc. Now we will save this file as input underscore file dot txt in the Hadoop distributed file system and we also make sure that we have our big script ready. So to execute the big script, the command is pig followed by the big script. So here you can see that I'm typing pig space word count dot pig, which will execute the lines in the script one by one.
as you can see from this output the moment I started the execution of the script pig has converted my entire output into a series of MapReduce jobs so you can see that it is running the job for me so here you can see many arrows that I have created to explain the output now the arrow 9 shows the 100% conversion of MapReduce and the arrow 10 shows some more information on Hadoop version, Pig version, job details etc. And the arrow 11 shows all the job status like the ID, how many map or reduce jobs ran etc etc. So here I am explaining what every arrow is doing. We can also see that the arrow 12 shows that there are five records which were read successfully from our input file and arrow 13 shows that 28 records are being success successfully stored back to back into the HDFS directory. Now the last arrow shows the counters and the records written etc etc. Now at the end of the pig operation you can see that it will display the output on our screen since we use the dump operator and as you can see it has counted the number of occurrence of every word and the result is positive. So in this particular lesson we have learned how to uh, run a pig script which will accomplish the word count logic. That's all for this lesson.